central meaning for many of us. As you think back now to that 22nd day of November, 10 years ago, what comes to mind? Well, the tragedy, Pat, uh, Dave Powers and I were 10 feet away when it occurred. And we really didn't know what happened, but the, the thing that was the saddest of it all was that it probably was the greatest reception. It was a beautiful day. We used to call it Kennedy weather. Beautiful blue skies, and there a million people turned out, and very enthusiastic, and very sentimental, and uh, very friendly. And the last words that I uttered prior to the shot was, uh, this is one state we're going to carry easily. Unique about the administration of John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Well, I think, Pat, he was unique. He brought to Washington uh, young people, people with new ideas, and uh, he really uh, changed around. He was the youngest president we'd had since Thomas Jefferson, and his attraction to uh, the young, not just in the United States, but all over the world, uh, the Peace Corps, and all of these uh, young men and women were deeply affected by John Kennedy's activities, and uh, they miss him today, 10 years later, and he brought them all into the government, or uh, participating in our political system, not just here, but everywhere. I think that's the great legacy of John Kennedy, that he brought young people intimately into politics. If Kennedy had lived, how different do you think things would have been? Well, I think uh, everything would have been different. He would have been re-elected. Every poll that was taken showed he had a tremendous majority. The states he had lost, I think, partially because of the religious situation of 1960. But uh, I think it would have been totally different. The, he had begun bringing people in, but it takes a long time to uh, bestow one's imprint upon where this country's going to go. I think uh, none of the things that we've seen happen recently could ever conceivably have happened under John Kennedy.